Hello everyone, welcome back again. After big data, we can move to artificial intelligence products in Azure. And that's the focus of our today's episode. Stay tuned. For the AI, today we'll be talking about machine learning service and machine learning studio. But before we move to those solutions, let's talk about AI in general. AI is a branch of computer science where we use our software to simulate human intelligence and capabilities. Whereas machine learning is a subcategory of AI where you use that software and we teach it to draw some conclusions and make some predictions based on our data. And the process of teaching the software to do that is called building a model. And the key service to do that in Azure is called Azure Machine Learning. Typically, the process of building a machine learning model consists of training the model based on our data then packaging and validating that model. If we are happy with the results, we can deploy those models as a web services, then monitoring those web services and retraining the model to get even better results. And Azure Machine Learning is here to help us with this entire process by providing us with a set of tools. Tools like notebooks written in Python or R, or a visual designer which allows us to build machine learning models using a simple drag and drop experience directly in our browsers. Additionally, machine learning models allows us to manage all the compute resources where we train, package, validate, and deploy those models so that we don't have to worry about Azure infrastructure and underlying resources ourselves. Additionally, Azure Machine Learning comes with something called AutoML. This automated process allows us to drop random algorithms at our data and see which one scores the best and deploy that as our designated web service. And lastly, there is also a feature of pipelines, which allows us to build this entire process end to end, whether we are using those notebooks, designer or other tools. This is complete end to end solution for building machine learning models. Let me quickly present to you how Azure Machine Learning works. First, I will navigate to my resource group called AZ900 ML. Inside of this resource group, I have my machine learning workspace resource, which allows me to manage machine learning service and all its components. In Azure Portal, there's not a lot of things we can do. There are very few blades when it comes to management of machine learning workspace. In order to go to machine learning workspace, we need to hit on the Launch Studio button or hit this URL here above. So let's click on Launch Studio button, which will open an Azure Machine Learning Studio. This is a web-based visual interface for management of entire Azure Machine Learning service. For example, in an outdoor section, you have notebooks, automated ML and visual designer. But let's go to the notebook first. This is a workspace where you can create your own scripts or instead you can try out some samples provided by Microsoft. Navigate to any notebook that you like, read the tutorial and execute the provided samples and you will build your machine learning model in no time. Or instead of writing scripts, try automated ML, which allows you to throw random algorithms at your data, tweak some parameters and see which model scores the best and deploy that as a web service. And if this wasn't enough, you also have Designer. Designer is a visual way of building machine learning models with a drag and drop features. And machine learning has also a lot of features around asset management. Assets are things like data sets, experiments, pipelines, models that you've built and endpoints that you deploy those models to. There's also plenty of other features which allow you to manage your compute resources where you train and deploy your models, data stores where you connect to your data sources in Azure, for example, Azure Blob Storage and Azure FileShare. But for now, let me quickly go back to Designer where I will build my own machine learning model using a visual experience. And before I begin, I will create a compute target. So a simple virtual machine that will run my workflow. So let me simply hit create new and use predefined size. Give it a name like my compute and hit save. After the machine has been provisioned, I can simply select it, hit save and start building my workflow. I will speed this part up because for the fundamentals training, the process itself is not important, but I want to show you how easy it is. Simply drag and drop your data, then select the columns that will be used to build machine learning model then clean your data using another step and split your data so that you can grab part of the data for the training and part for the evaluation of your model. Next, simply train your model to forecast the price using linear regression. If you're happy with it, simply drag and drop another block to score the model 
and the last step to evaluate the results. And we're done. If we are happy with our pipeline, we can submit it to run by either choosing existing or new experiment. Let's create new one. Let's give it a name. I will call my experiment demo and submit it to run. Depending on the complexity of your pipeline and the machine that you pick to train the model, this process might take from a few minutes to even half an hour or even a couple of hours. So I've sped this up by a lot just to show you that the UI very nicely shows you how your model is being built in real time. And now if you are a data scientist, you can either check the evaluation results. So you can check all the logs, all the outputs that we're generating during this pipeline, check all the details or by going to score model where they can visualize their data sets, where they can see a lot of extra information about the data set they use for training of this model including the price that they forecasted and the scores. So to summarize, Azure Machine Learning Service is an end-to-end cloud-based platform for creating, managing and publishing of our machine learning models. This is of course a platform as a service offering in Azure. A top level resource in Azure Machine Learning Service is called Machine Learning Workspace. Think of it like this, Workspace ties everything together, all the compute resources, all the permissions, all the runs, pipelines, experiments, history, connection to external services like Azure storage accounts, container registry, deployments of your model, literally everything is managed through Azure Machine Learning Workspace. And Machine Learning Studio is this web portal that we were using for our end-to-end -end management of the workspace. A quick note that I have for you here is that in the past, there was another service called Machine Learning Studio. This is completely different from the one that we're talking about today because that service is no longer actively being developed and new customers are being encouraged to use new machine learning because it also has the studio experience with some additional features. And the key features that you get by using Azure Machine Learning Service are of course notebooks written in Python or R, automated ML where you can throw a lot of algorithms and tweak some parameters to find the best algorithm and to build the best model for your data. And with Visual Designer, you can build your machine learning pipelines without writing a single line of code. You can also manage your data and compute resources. So all the resources to manage and store your data, as well as process those models and deploy them as a web services. And lastly, everything is nicely tied into Azure machine learning pipelines, which allow you to orchestrate this model training, deployment, and all the management tasks. As always, all the materials for this episode are found on my website under episode 16. And that's it for this one, but don't go away because next episode is all about serverless computing in Azure. So if you like my work, support the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. And see you in the next one.